good day. How is everyone? Hello, Denise. Hello, hello, CJ. And um, CW, I'm sure, is going to be kicking in. Maria. And um, there she is. <laughs> and uh, everybody else. Um, Greg, how you doing? I hope things are good with you. Um, had that big move. And also, I know CJ had a big move, too. Hope you are settling in. And uh, today is Free For All Friday, September 27th, 2024. And we got some good, uh, good things to talk about today. Some things that would be like, wow. So um, as I get into this actually doing it, because we were talking about that yesterday, the faith is about doing, okay, faith without works, well, that Protestant argument. Um, you have to do the works. Still moving, <laughs> CJ, still moving. Okay, we'll keep praying. Um, and um, I wish I could get down there and give you a hand soon. I'm still waiting for um, some things to happen. So, uh, yes, and um, if, you know, any kind of sacrifice that you want to make today uh, for the Trinitarian Theophany for the souls in purgatory um, is absolutely, uh, you know, uh, appreciated. I'm sure by the souls, especially um, who are there. All right, let's get started with uh, the beginning of our day prayers. In nomine Dei Amatronam Nostrae Dei Miesum Christum et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Let us place ourselves in the presence of the Trinitarian Theophany and in Catholic contemplation, humbly venerate the Divine Family. Most holy and venerable Trinitarian Theophany, one Divine Family, I believe that thou art here present. I venerate thee with the deepest humility. I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thee. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, relying on thine infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace and life everlasting, through the merits of Dei Miesum Christum et Dei Matronam Nostrae. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for love of thee, and I forgive all who have injured me, and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Let us thank the Trinitarian Theophany for the many graces that we receive, and offer ourselves and our sufferings up to heaven. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, I most humbly thank thee for all the favors thou hast bestowed upon me to the present moment. It is again thanks to thy bounty that I should live to see this day, and I desire to employ it solely in thy service. I consecrate to thee all my thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings of this day. Sanctify them, that there may be none that is not animated by thy love, or that would not tend to thy greater glory. Let us make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. And let us beg of the Trinitarian Theophany the graces which are necessary to us. O most holy Trinitarian Theophany, thou knowest my weakness and that I am unable to do anything good without the help of thy grace. Deny me not thy grace proportionate to my necessities. Give me strength to avoid everything which thou forbiddest, to practice the good which thou hast commanded, and enable me patiently to bear all the trials which it may please thee to send me. <laughs> o Dea Matronam Rostrae, I place myself under thy protection. I throw myself with confidence into the arms of thy compassion. Be to me, O Mother of Mercy, my refuge in distress, my consolation in suffering, my advocate now and at the hour of my death. O Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Deum Matronam Nostrae, Deum Isum Christum, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. 
but most of all because they offend Thee, O Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of Thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Okay, we're going to talk about two things today. Uh, one is going to be consent of the straw man or of the real being, the sentient being, man or woman, and also about postal rules, which is very, very important. We weren't we were told about the post office when we, when we were learning about schooling, when we were little, and, and, uh, but we're not fully told about how important the post office is. So we're going to talk about consent. All men are born equal, and so nobody has the right to command you, make demands of you, or force you to do anything. I'm going to read that again. All men are born equal. And so nobody has the right to command you, make demands of you, or force you to do anything. That's called free will. The most that anyone can do is make you an offer to perform. Okay? This is really, really the police um, need to, to learn this. <laughs> it's the first thing in there in their schooling, but they don't teach this at all. Um, they, they treat, uh, it, it's like the, the medical industry with doctors as well as the police, these front lines people that you meet, um, they were given this idea in their head that they can command over others and they are so much better than others. Um, so far from the Catholic ideology. Okay, even though they may say that it is an order or a demand or a summons, it is in reality an offer which you are free to accept or not as you so choose. This is why they keep using applications, registrations, and submissions as those things Give them power over you through your unwitting consent. They are hoping that you will break the law by the way that you deal with their offer. If you just ignore the offer, you are stepping into what is called dishonor. The only effective way of dealing with the offer is conditional acceptance, as already mentioned. If you accept their offer without imposing any conditions, then you are accepting that they have the power to order you around. And that places you under their authority because you have just chosen to accept their offer. Even though you may not understand that you are accepting their offer for them to have authority over you. Okay, it's all about deceit, really. <laughs> And this is why I'm striving for a Catholic monarchy so we can get rid of all of that. They also want to get you arguing with them since that also places you in dishonor. And if there is a court case involved, the judge just looks to see who is in dishonor. Remember, in civil cases, the court is a commercial operation where the judge doesn't care who is right or wrong, just who will pay the court. So we accept all offers, but with our conditions attached to each offer. And that prevents them taking us to court. Remember, courts only deal with disputes. And if you conditionally accept each offer, there won't be any dispute. So there can't be any court involvement. And there's plenty of research out there, um, even on YouTube, with regards to conditional acceptance. So um, start doing your research if you find this interesting on there. And there are many out there who um, have mastered this technique. Some offers are notices. 
and a notice has to be clear, unequivocal, and concise. You can discharge a notice by seeking clarification, that is by writing back asking the meaning of a word, stating that you don't understand the word. They were hoping that you would just ignore the notice and so go into dishonor and become liable. A, an example we're going to talk about here is a parking ticket is a notice. And please be aware that a parking ticket is not a bill, but instead it is a notice telling you that there is something to which you should pay attention. So you write back saying that you have noticed their notice. And as they appear to think that you owe them money, you are happy to pay. But first, you need some verification before payment is made. First, there, needs, uh, there is a need to verify the debt. So please send me a bill with a human signature on it. Also, I need to see the lawful two-party contract supporting that bill. Very clever. As they can't supply either of those things, it kills the claim stone dead. So just keep insisting that they either supply those things or else stop bothering you with their notices. An interesting alternative is that if they send you a final notice marked remittance, then that piece of paper actually has the value of the money amount written on it. And there is where I was talking to you about the IRS with their coupon. Okay, same same thing, money order, those sorts of negotiable instruments. It becomes a negotiable instrument. The really silly thing is that you have the option to write, quote, accepted for value, unquote, on that piece of paper, sign it with your name and the date, and mail it back to them. And technically, that concludes the matter by paying the amount demanded. Who was it that said it's a mad, 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 mad world? Actually, the payment comes out of the vast amount of money which your straw man has accumulated over the years, or and I might add, or that was set up initially so that it's there. And you're signing the documents as accepted for value, authorizes them to take the payment from your straw man account, and that suits them as well as yourself. Writing accepted for value means that you are authorizing them to take the amount they specify out of the straw man account, which has such a large amount in it that the balance will hardly be affected at all. Um, I have done that in the past too, when I first learned of acceptance for value. And um, again, the, the people are starting to learn like, you know, secretaries who receive these things, they look at them and like, or, or, or employees who receive these remittances marked as such, and they, they're, they're dumbfounded, they don't know what to do, but we have to start educating those people because those are the ones that we want to them to learn about this straw man thing so they can um, act in honor, okay, and do what, what was asked. Okay, and the second thing today is the something that I, I actually included, if you look in the link in the description for today's uh, uh, mass and discussion, today's video, it, it, there's a link in there about uh, postage. Okay, and here under the postal code, the international manual, I guess, um, and it, it's it's both the United States Postal Service, but it's also across the world with regards to um, post office. So there's the, I think it's called the UPU or Universal Postal Union or something like that, where they come up with these uh, rules. Now, seven in this manual, 742, whether it's chapter or whatever, uh, is titled Stamps Not affixed. And 742.1 is titled marking. 
So some of the items of foreign origin do not bear postage stamps, but instead are marked um, tax per queue, which is French, or uh, service des postes, or prepaid, or PP, followed by a postmark. Uh, in England, it's OHMS on Her Majesty's um, service, uh, uh, is also sometimes used. And, the, and what they say is the last sentence of that 742.1 marking, treat this mail as prepaid. Okay, so they tested this, and, and this video that I, I posted there is from, I, I believe it's like almost 10 years ago. So th they've been testing this, and it, and it does actually work. Okay, parcels without postage stamps um, is 742.2, so you can also mail packages. Some foreign post offices do not put postage stamps on parcels. All such parcels are to be regarded as prepaid, as long as you mark that like tax per coup or on postal service or prepaid. All right, so it's, it's interesting. Um, they are aware of this, okay? It's in the manual. They know where to get the postage from as well, the payment to, to, to supply them. It's in that account. So where am I at? Um, another thing that I had um, um, examined was the payment of a closed credit card account. I wanted to pay it off. I closed the account last year, but I've been paying it off slowly. And so there's what there's a process called the 1099A. Um, it's a form, it's an IRS form, and you can use the IRS to, to pay this account. Now, you have, they have to do it a very certain particular way. And um, I, there's, a, there's a website called 1099online.com, and they do it all for you. You just basically fill in the blanks. They submit the form to the IRS and um, keep you updated on its progress. And um, right now, let's see, I guess it was a week, just a week and a half ago, I submitted it. And then just the other day, when I got home from Florida, I found out that the IRS accepted the form. So now I am waiting for the IRS to now um, send the, the, the CEO of the credit card company the uh, check to pay off that credit card amount. Um, so, and I will, I will wait to see what the notice um, is with regards to that. And I will keep you posted on that. So if that works, I've got another one <laughs> with like, I'm sure all of you do um, have a few of those. So um, if anybody is interested, I can um, send you the PDF that explains how to do that. Um, again, it's the, the key on the form is, of course, understanding who's the creditor and who's the debtor, okay? And in instances, this is where it gets tricky, you are the creditor and the debtor. So you are the creditor when you, you, you write your name a certain way with first name, hyphen, middle name, colon, space, last name, comma, beneficiary, period. And of course, it's in upper and lower case, um, as you would expect. That's the creditor. Then you're the debtor when you're when it's in your name, all caps, or any version of that, that, that name that I mentioned before, but it, it'll always be in all capitalized letters. And then the other uh, debtor is the credit card company because they are actually um, taking your money, okay, <laughs> from 
the sentient beings account there. Um, again, it takes a long time to grasp the deceit because they wrap this deceit up so intricately that they've been able to fool so many for so many years, but apparently now is the time for this to be um, unknown, if you will. Uh, I pray for all those souls, uh, we all do, in um, in Florida and in Georgia. Um, looks like I did get out of Florida just in time, um, but where I was staying, uh, they lost power, but it came back on, and the winds were 50 to 60 miles an hour. I was watching it, um, but I'm pretty sure that they're all okay there. So, um, again... Um, we pray for those souls who weren't so lucky and who are struggling with um, their, their, their homes and their, um, you know, just the basic necessities that they need. Hopefully they turn to the Trinitarian Theophany and um, get some uh, support and uh love there which I, it's, it's always there you just have to turn all right let's uh let's have mass today also if you have somebody that you know who is in you know financial straits like this that i'm talking about um uh share this video um, and also uh, look up some look up about conditional acceptance and share those videos with them. Um, I can't, I can't, I just don't physically have the time to help like hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, <laughs> um, it's more important, I believe, that we we obviously get have this relationship with the Trinitarian Theophany. And, but as you do that these things become less fearful and we um, can help others and do that. So that's what I ask of all of you. Demo viscum, e quoque apote, oremus. O Trinitarian Theophany, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired, who liveth and reigneth with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Sushi pe sancta. Suscipe de impatrum spiritum sanctum, hanca macalatum hostem, quam ego indemius, quam alus tuus offerit videum meum vivum et verum. Pro venum indibidibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligentis meis, et pro omnibus circum stantibus, serer pro omnibus fidelibus, catholicorum vivis atque defunctis ut mihi et iris proficietat salutem. Deum qui humanae substantia dignitate medibidito condidisi et medibidus reformasti da nobis, perus atque et vini mysterium, eis divinitatis esse consortis qui militatis nostrae, fieri dignatis es parte caps de mies in Christum, uticum vivit et reinat in unitate de impatrum spiritum sanctum. Fede musti bidem calicem saitaris tuum da pacantis clementium, ut a cespectu divinae maestatis tuae, pro nostra a totis mundi salute, pumadori suavitatis ascendat.
in spiritu militati set in anima contrito suscipi amorata de mies in Christum, et sic fiet sacrificium nostrum ec espetu tu hodie u placia tibi deum matronam nostra et deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Veni santificator deum patrum spiritum sanctum, et santificite plata prosequendo et acepere hoc sacrificium tuo sancto nomini praeteratum. Suscite Sancta Trinitas Sancto Placionum cum tibi aferimus, a mamonum in passionis, et resurrectionis, et descensionis de inies in Christum. Et in honorem Deum matronam nostra, et pata pete et sanctorum, et istorum, et omnium sanctorum. Ut idis proficiet ad honorem nobis autem et salutem, et idi pro nobis intercede de dinentem in caelis, quorum amorem agimus in teelis pedi in num Christum Deum nostrum. Orate, ut meiem equestrum sacrificium acceptabile fieta per Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Suscipia, Deum Iesum Christum sacrificium de manibus tuis, et laudem et gloriam nomini sui, ad utiditatem quoque nostram, totiusque, ecclesiae, suae, sanctae. Deum obiscum, quoque apete, surus in corda habemos a Deum. Gracias agamos Deum nostrum, Dignum et justum est. De editor, te medesimo, matere patere, de matrum nostrae, de impatrum spiritum sanctum, te vide in Iesum Christum filium, tuum de nostrae, supplices, rogamas et petimus. Uti accepta habeas et sanctificas, haec sanctum sacrificium illibata. In primis quae tibi aferimus, pro ecclesiam tuam sanctum catholicam, quam pacificare custodiri aronare et regere, digneris toto orbe terarum, at quae catholicae. Memento Deum famalorum famalorum petorum. We pray for the sick and the suffering. We pray for Katie, Gage, Neil and Earl Lively, Maria Josephine and Mose, Mark Jr., Henry, Barbara, Benedict, and Robert Santa Croce, James Santa Croce. Mr. Nobody, Amble Tink, the Cantu and Duarte families, Nicarla McLarnan and family, Jenna, Lena, Lori, Aaron and family, Maria and the Lineweber family, the Cahill, Kendrick, Tosco, Nye, Tafur, Wolf, Vegan, and Kane families, and all their intentions. We pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first state of Acantus Catholic Council Office and Monastery of Illinois. We pray for an end to all governmental allowance or sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, child abuse of any kind, anywhere, place, or time. We pray that the HHS of the U.S., the Health and Human Services Department, stops trafficking children and releases the data to the states so that they may find them and remove them from that hell. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, and medium of exchange. We pray for courageous men to step forward as leaders of this holy and Catholic society to be established. We ask that quote-unquote gay marriage be banned, that there's a reversal of the feminist ideology, a return to godly femininity, the elimination of all pornography in the OnlyFans platform, and that women come to respect themselves and come and understand that raising traditional Catholic families is a high ideal, very high ideal, and a necessity for peace. We ask for the conversion of all sinners trapped in a state of mortal sin, especially the ignorant and the fearful. We ask that all gateways and portals be shut down, all equipment related to same be destroyed, shut down CERN, and any other particle accelerators. We pray for wisdom on how to grow healthy foods, plants, and animals, and to share them with our neighbors. And we pray for the elimination of all harmful radiation waves, waves in our air and in our homes. 
We pray that all electronic devices that have mechanisms in them to harm are disabled and that we can eventually live without them. Please ask, we ask you to destroy the satanic document of Vatican law that is the Jewish Talmud, to destroy Rome and the Vatican, and to recognize the authority of the Catholic Church to be in Portugal. We ask you to block, continue blocking the passage of any so-called pandemic treaty by the WHO, block any efforts by the WEF to influence the societies around the world, and with a Catholic monarchy, the WEF will be eliminated, and those involved will be arrested. Please also destroy all forms of Freemasonry and its tentacles that are everywhere throughout the lands, and bring the members into the submission of the Trinitarian Theophany through correct baptism and confession. And we also ask that you continue to um, out the corruption in all forms of uh, government, quote unquote. Um, I see it happening now, and we give thanks for that. All these things we ask in accordance with the Trinitarian Theophany's holy and divine will. Et omnium circumstantium, quorum tibi fides cognita est et nota devotio, procubus tibi afferimus verut tibi frontot sacra pectim laudis. Prosis vis per omnibus, prauda demsione ramalam suarum plus pe salutis et gulamitatis suae. Tibi crede don vota sua aeterna deum vivo et vero. Comunicantes et omorum verantes in primis gloriosae, semper de matra nostrae, et de genies in Christum. Et beatorum martirium torum Papa Sancti Petri, et Sancti Lucie, et Sancti Iacinte, et Sancti Franci, Francisco, et Sancti Juan Diego. Et omnium sanctorum torum quorum medicis precibus que cancaedas, ut in omnibus protectionis tuae, munia mar exilio perendum Christum Deum nostrum. Quam oblationa te Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum in omnibum, consecrate mar captabellum te apegere di mei disolumbis corpum, et sanguim si et dirigis mi filium tuum de in Jesum Christum. Qui pridi e quam patareta recepe te panum in sancta sacu in arbois manus suas, et elevati so pilis in caelum ate de impactum spiritum sanctum suum omno patentem tibi gracias agens. Consacrare, frege de dicuidum de sui dicens acite te et amato cate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est eni corpus meum. Simili modo posquam ceremonia est accipiens, et hum praeclarum calicem et sancta sacu an arbois manus suas, item tibi gracias agens diem patrum spiritum sanctum. Canto crave dedicui lumni sui dicens, accipite et vipite ex omnes. Hic est eini calic sanguinis mei, misterium fidei, quae pro nobis et pro nobis et fundator in remissione peccatorum. Et quotes cum Christo peritis in meum infarctetis. Unde et memores deum nos servitui, sere plebs tua sancta iustem Christum filium tuum deum nostrae, tam beatae passionis, nec non et eben feris rejectionis, sedet in caelos gloriosae ascensionis, offerimus praeclarae majestati tuae de tuis donis actatis. Supra quae propitio axa renovutu respiceri digneris. Te supplicas te eragamos deum patrum spiritum sanctum ut. Ide hecta ferete manus tuum, ut corpus, et sacrataris participationis sacrosantum deum filium tuum, corpus et sanguinum sensenimus, 
Omni Santificatione Carlesi Pratio Dei Pro Amor Per Dignum Cruci Dei Nostri Pray for those who have died. We especially pray for Peter Joseph Gensler, for whom this Mass is being offered. Ipsistem et omnibum in Christum Christentibum, locum refegeri i luci sepaci, sut ondor viesta pracamor perinum Christum Deum nostrum. Perquem hic omnia Deum Iesum Christum semper bona creas, santificas, we will be cast on Socrates at Christ as novice. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso. Est ibi deum atrum omno patentium unitate deum patrum spiritum sanctum. Omnis honor et gloria. Ave Dea, Matronam Nostrae, gratia plena Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Tecum. Dea, Matronam Nostrae, Matran Deum Iesum Christum, Misericordia Nobis, Peccatoribus Nunc et Anono Mortis Nostrae. Libera nos, quaesmos, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum abonibus malis, praeteritis praesendibus et futuris, et intercedente beate gloriosa sempre Dea, Matronam Nostrae. Cum Papa Petrum Sanctorum et Omnibus Sanctis da Propitius Patiam Mendibus Nostris. Ut ope misericordiae tuae aduiti et peccato, simul semper liberi et aboni petepatione sequeri. Periendum Deum Nostrum, Iesum Christum Filium Tuum Deum Nostrum. Qui tegem vivit et reinat in unitate deum patrum spiritum sanctum, per aeternam. Pax deum Iesum Christum sed semper vobiscum, et copre apote, haecem extio, et consecratio coperis et sanguinis deum Iesum Christum, fiat ac ipientibus nobis in et salutem aeternam. Pax tecum, et coque apote. Deum Iesum Christum, qui ex voluntate Deum Matronam Nostrae, cooperante Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, per mortem tuum monum vivificasti, libera me per hoc socro sanctum corpus, et sanguinum tuum amonum vicinicotatibus meis, et unaversis malis, et fac me tui semper in hadare mandatis, et et inum com separari permitas, Qui cum me odem Deum Matronam Nostra et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, vivis et reinam eternam. Per ceptio corporis tui Deum Iesum Christum, quod ego indignius sumere praesum on non mihi proveniat in idicium e condonationem, ser pro tu pietate prosit mihi ad tu dementum mentis e corporis, et adam e delam per cepiendam qui vivis et reinas, cum Deum Matronam Nostra et unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Panem celestem et tibiam et nomen Deum Iesum Christum in vocabo. Deum Matronum Nostra in non trum dignus, et ades et ades et ades in tempi de quebo sempre anima mea. Deum Iesum Christum non trum dignus, et ades et ades et ades in tempi de quebo sempre anima mea. Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum non sum dignus, et 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 et
които ръти обон да им ясно Кристо, право не го сквай ръти ръбо от нихи, кали кем се витали всеки ден на номене и пачен спиритум санктум и мукаво. Наудан за мукаво да има пшена много страята, аб и мини кис ме и са го село. Сон, ви сте и много сме ясно Кристо в студията на Малея. Ste je naš mjesec na Kristom Kristovi dan vam čuje. Kod ovaj sam samo ste je mjesec na Kristu. Pjede me te kapije me sveti moru neke brajke. Nogu svoje menijem sam pečernje. Pastor Jamie is in Christum called Somsi at Sanguis Krampatawi at Harriet with Skedibus Mays at Price the Uden Menon Raymania Scala the Macalap Vampira at Sancta Refecero at Sacramento. Dejmo obiskom, ako koje po tej, oremus, may the prayer of thy supplicants, prophet of the souls of thy servants and handmaids we beseech thee, O Trinitarian Theophany, that thou mayest free them from all sins and make them sharers in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Dejmo obiskom, ako koje po tej, i te mi se est, dejmo glacije. Plakia tibi sancta trinitam, et sepium sedipitis meae, et praesta ut sapratitum coroculis tuae maestatis in limus obdoli tibi sit acceptabile hicre dominus. Toculus idut obdoli sit te miserantia propitiabile petus in Deum nostro. Santificat vos omnipotens Deum, Matronam et Filium et Spiritum Sanctum, Deum Matronam nostra et Deum Iesum Christum, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias.
O most holy Trinitarianity of me, I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I love thee. I beg of thee pardon for those who do not believe, do not venerate, do not hope, and do not love thee. Most holy Trinitarian Theophany, God our Lady who was, is, and ever shall be. God Jesus Christ who was, is, and ever shall be. And God the Father, Holy Ghost, who was, is, and ever shall be. I venerate thee profoundly, and I offer to thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of God Jesus Christ, present here in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he himself is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and immaculate heart of God our Lady who was, is, and ever shall be. I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. In nomine Dei Matronam Nostri, Dei Mies in Christum, et Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Gracias. Thank you for attending. Thank you for your prayers and, of course, your financial support. Uh, please hit the like button and share this video today. Um, maybe it'll help somebody um, in financial distress to give them a glimmer of hope. And uh, let's walk the walk. All right. Please go and sanctify all those who you meet. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7.30. Oh, wait a minute. Tomorrow's Saturday. I was going to do 8, wasn't I? Yes. All right. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. All right. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, Saturday, Eastern Time. Hopefully you're still there listening. <laughs> all right. We'll see you then.